All right, so um, where do we begin with this one? Um, Spencer Rattler, rookie performance, uh, first performance of his career. Uh, look, there was definitely some good things. He made, made some nice plays, uh, a couple good throws. Uh, nice to have a mobile quarterback, you know, some, somebody that can be disruptive with his legs. Uh, but I did see John O'Barnes post something on X, which uh, I agree with, is that if Derek Carr put forth the same performance, same stat line, same everything, we'd probably be dogging him. But again, for a guy in his first professional start, no real issues. I mean, T Tampa came to play yesterday and, you know, again, dropping the 50-burger on us, not a good look. Which leads us to the other side of things, the defense. Um, look, you see somebody, Marshawn Lattimore, who is like a alpha competitor, like super competitor on the sidelines, completely distraught with how things are going. You see uh, Jeff Duncan posting that the Saints are now the worst defense in the NFL yardage-wise. The worst. And when you look back and consider the first two games, how great the defense was, this has come off the rails in a in a historic way, um, which uh, leads me to my the third post that I saw, which I think was this morning, uh, Charles Dunn talking about if Dennis Allen's defense isn't any good, and what Dennis Allen brings to the club is defense, then he no longer brings anything to the club. So there is an incredible, I mean, look, if we're just talking about social media, there is an incredible amount of groundswell to get rid of Dennis Allen. I mean, the, the ship has sailed. Um, the Jets got rid of their head coach last week. So it's, it's about that time where you start to see teams that are desperate that had much higher expectations than where they are, uh, getting rid of their coaches. I wouldn't be shocked if the Saints pulled the trigger and did something really quick. I mean, there's still a chance to salvage what's left of the season. Talent-wise, I really feel like they're still real. I mean, look, the, you look at the games. They're close. It's just I don't think they believe in Dennis Allen. It, it just feels like that to me if you just read the body language. I'm not inside the locker room, obviously. I don't know what these guys are thinking, uh, what these what the conversations are behind closed doors, but it really feels like this ship has sailed. The Dennis Allen experiment is over. And uh, if there's any chance of looking into the future of this season, something's got to be done really quick. I understand there's been some some injuries, some some untimely plays there, and, and the players are not off the uh, off the hook. There's definitely been some issues with execution as well. But I really thought bringing Spencer Rattler into the game, having the whole hype train behind the team, home game against a division rival, they would show up, and for the first half they looked like all right. We're gonna get back on track this week, and it just fell off the fell off the rails in the second half. Tough to watch. Let me know what you think about the Saints' uh, future in 2024. Dennis Allen. Let me know what you think about Spencer Radler too. What what did you see? What did you not see? What are you looking forward to? Or what are, what were you discouraged by? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on the way out. It's super free. It's super easy. You just hit the button. You're done. We are three away from 1,000. Let's do it. Hoot out, everybody. We'll see you on the next one.